welcome to my channel in this video i am going to discuss the derivation of gain considering the configuration dual input balanced output differential amplifier in ac analysis we replace a transistor maybe q1 q2 by equivalent t model this is the base ammeter this is a collector and q1 also we replace by this and q2 also we replace by this t model whenever i do the ac analysis i have to make all dc voltage is equal to zero or i have to ground it in this circuit i have to make vc is equal to zero as well as v equal to zero and the equivalent circuit after considering the t model we will get like this this is a collector this is the ammeter this is a base for q1 similarly for q2 we have a base 2 collector 2 we have ammeter 2 the same circuit is rewritten like this to understand better we have this collector rc and current circuit this side and this voltage source rs1 we have here and it is a rn1 or rs1 and the emitter side is represented here this is for a considering one transistor and second transistor t model we are consider this side emitter 1 emitter 2 are connected together shown in this diagram the voltage is applied v in 1 as well as v in 2 hence it is a dual input balanced output because i am taking a voltage at a v collector 1 and collector 2 it is balanced because dc voltage is same this is the output voltage vid is a v in 1 minus v in 2 v naught equal to vc2 minus vc1 it is an amplified version of the difference voltage vid consider re1 equal to re2 equal to re just for simplification considering loop 1 and loop 2 we will write equation considering in the loop 1 we have a v in 1 r in 1 i 1 re and this re is a one loop equation is this v in 1 minus r in 1 i b 1 is flowing and r e i 1 is flowing this r e i have two currents one is i 1 and there is i 2 using this i written equation give the equation number as a 5 similarly the second loop i will consider i will write the equation in this also i have a v in 2 r in 2 i have a r e i e 2 r e here also current i 1 and i 2 are flowing give the equation as a 6 now substituting the value of ib1 as i1 by beta ac and ib2 as ie2 by beta ac i'll rewrite equation number 5 and 6 remaining will be as it is only ib1 and ib2 i'll replace now equation becomes r in 1 ie1 by beta ac remaining as it is i'll keep it similarly the second equation number 6 also i'll rewrite this is a from a previous slide now this is a using a i2 divided by beta ac i rewritten this usually the r in 1 by beta ac and r in 2 by beta ac will be very small we can neglect once again we can rewrite these equations simply i have neglected this part and i rewritten now the same equation is written in this slide I rearranged for example i1 r is z i1 small r is z hence i1 are taken r plus r in the bracket so i rearranged this and i have written these two equations and equation number give the as a 7 this equation number this as a 8 these two can be solved using a Kramer's rule 
equation with 7 and 8 can be solved by Cramer's rule. Cramer's rule, these are the equations from the previous line. Now to calculate I1, I'll leave this part. I'll consider these two RE, RE plus RE and V in 1, V in 2, I'll write. And denominator, I'll write this completely. RE plus RE, RE and RE by one more is RE plus RE. So these four parameters I'll write. And now I have to simplify. I'll multiply this and this minus this and this. Similarly, this and this minus this and this. I've done it. So just pause. You can observe and try to understand. Now similarly, I can write for IE2. This is IE2. I have left this part. I have considered RE plus RE, RE, V in 1, V in 2, numerator. Denominator, these all the four I have considered. And again multiplying these two and these two are rewritten. And these two and these two I will multiply. The, after multiplying this, minus this and this. This is a IE2. You can pause and try to understand. Now, all of us know V0 equal to VC2 minus VC1 because we are taking a voltage across the collector 1 and collector 2. Hence, voltage will be a difference. Now, the output voltage V0 is equal to VC2 minus VC1. So, substituting a VC2, we already know VC is a IC, RC and we re simply substitute IC equal to IE because IC is almost equal to IE. And now in the equation number 10, I substitute I1, I2 value. It's I1 minus I2. And again, I'll simplify. Now, I1 I kept as it is minus I2. I'm simplifying. Denominators are same, I kept as it is. Numerator are taken, RE plus RE is there for V in 1. And again, RE plus RE is there for V in 2. Hence, I have taken RE plus RE, V in 1 minus V in 2. Similarly, RE. Now, I have simplified A plus B whole square, A square plus B square plus 2AB. And I have rewritten. And again in this also, V in 1 minus V in 2 is common in both the terms. I have taken common. Inside, I will get RE plus 2RE. In this, I have cancelled RE square, RE square. In among these two, I have taken RE common. Inside, I will get RE plus 2 RE. Now, this RE plus 2 RE, this 2 RE plus RE will get cancelled. I will get RC divided by RE into V in 1 minus V in 2. Thus, the differential amplifier amplifies the difference between the two input signals as we expected. Now, the VID equal to V in 1 minus V in 2. AD gain is given by V naught divided by VID. This is nothing but RC by RE. AD is independent of RE since RE did not appear in the equation number 12. Thanks for watching this video. Share this video if you like. Please subscribe this channel. Thank you.